This is Right on the Money with Tom Mosley, founder of Mosley Wealth Management. Our mission at Mosley Wealth Management is to help people make sure they never run out of income the rest of their life and they pay as little as they're legally required to pay in taxes. Since 1995, Tom Mosley and his team have been creating comprehensive custom financial plans to help you preserve what you've earned and pursue what you've envisioned. In retirement, a lot of people have built a great lump sum. We call that your lumber yard. But you need a blueprint to put that lumber yard into a plan that you can build a retirement house to live in. What's on your mind this week, Southern California? The stock market, taxes, inflation, income, Social Security, how to ease into the life of your dreams? Let's discover conservative financial strategies starting right now. This is your Right on the Money Radio Hour with Tom Mosley. And a very happy weekend to you. You are listening to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. He is the founder and president of Mosley Wealth Management based right here in Southern California. And I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. Each week, we are committed to providing you with retirement planning solutions. We're going to talk about investments, asset protection, wealth management, annuities, tax efficient strategies. My goodness, Tom, there's no shortage of things to cover each week, is there? <laughs> well, there really isn't. And I know it, some, some of these things apply to everybody and some of them apply apply to only a few, but we try to reach out and have a broad spectrum of reach and scope with what we do on the show. Absolutely. Well, today we're going to be talking about some tax saving strategies in retirement, as well as the advantages of a principal protected fixed annuity. Could one be right for you? As well as our listener questions later on in the show. But first up this weekend, if you are retiring in the next five years, what are the key financial mistakes that you need to avoid? That's what we're going to start off with today. And Tom, I know that this is something that you're very passionate about helping folks do is to finish well. And by finish well, we talk about the retirement red zone, those five to 10 years when you are getting ready to retire. But really, it's the beginning for folks, right? It's, it's finishing one chapter and entering the other one and making sure you do it successfully. It really is. It's it's uh, it's a whole new chapter, too, because so many things change. A lot of people say, well, everything will be exactly alike. I just won't go to work anymore. But no, things do change. And getting ready for that change is monumental. And I, an old football coach, I always liken it back to what's happening right at the end of the game, because your accumulation phase and growing your money and adding to your 401k and topping off all of your retirement savings, that pretty much you're at the end of the game when you're just coming up in the last five years of retirement. Now, I'm an old football coach again, I say, so I don't make any real apologies for this, but I do know this. If you ever watch football, you realize that the team that makes the most mistakes usually loses, mm -hmm. and the team that makes the most mistakes in the last two-minute drill, in the last little five years of retirement, you're going to make the most mistakes. You're going to be in the worst position of all. So that's what we're trying to overcome by what we're talking about in this first section. Yeah. So we were going to go through these common mistakes that we want folks to avoid, especially within those five years, if you're in that five-year window of retirement. The first one, failing to maximize retirement contributions. Oh, yeah. Right at the end, you need to put some more points on the board. Maybe, maybe it's if it's the last few seconds, you don't. But if you're in the fourth quarter and you're up by a touchdown, put another touchdown up there. You're up by 14 rather than seven. And if you're in the last few years before retirement, you need to put some more points on the board. That means that usually the, at that point, we've talked about the vortex of the people who are in their 50s, the Gen Xers right now, and how you're getting hit from your parents, you're getting hit from your kids, you're getting hit from you trying to retire. Well, don't neglect you. You're the goose that's laying the golden egg. So mm -hmm. don't neglect yourself and really pound away some money into your 401k. A lot of people that come in and they're within 10 years of retirement, which is a great time to start a real written retirement plan. We call it the retirement blueprint, but it's a great time to do that. But when they come in and they're, we're talking to them and they say, you know, I've, I've just been putting the same amount in my 401k for years. Well, let me give you a, a little hint and a tip here. When you get a raise, give yourself a raise and give your 401k a raise. Mm -hmm. Continue to try to grow 
know that. And if you can, if you've got the Parent PLUS loans paid off, your kids are out of school and, and they're out of the house and they haven't come back yet, you know, and I did say yet, but if they haven't come back yet, that's a great time for you to just maximize what you're putting in your 401k or your 403b. That's $30,500 if you're over 50. And if you don't have one of those, you can put $8,000 if you're over 50 into an IRA or a Roth IRA, which might even be a better option. So now's the time to really maximize your contribution to that 401k plan. I mean, just pump that as much as you can. Grow it as much as you can. I know it's at the end. I know it would have been better if you started early, but don't cry about the fumble you made in the first quarter. Mm. Put some points on the board in this last few minutes of your pre-retirement game. And especially with those over 50 catch-up contributions, that can add up so quickly. So definitely want to use those to your advantage. All right. The second mistake is not analyzing social security options. Oh gosh, we could do a whole show just on this, right, Tom? (laughs) We could, and we probably have if we look back, okay? Social security, just last night I did a social security workshop. 40% of the average American's income comes from social security. So you need to get aware of social security. Kristen, we probably do about 50 to 60 social security workshops sprinkled all over Southern California every year. Mm -hmm. We do about five or six a month, maybe even more than that, take a little time off around the holidays, but we are really out there for social security. All of our advisors are trained by the National Social Security Advisors Association. That's not something you put behind your name and the letters and stuff like that, but It does teach you all the ins and outs of Social Security, 19 modules we go through, take a test, and we're able to help people on Social Security. Do you turn it on at 62? Wait a minute. If you do and you haven't reached full retirement age yet, you can only make $22,320 this year or every $2 over that, you pay back a dollar of your Social Security that you turned on early. Right. What is still working? Yep. If you're still working, what is your full retirement age? Is it 66? Is it 65? Is it somewhere in between? It could be all of those. And when you get to 70, and we've talked about on the show, Kristen, how 43% of the people who are in their 70s are still working. And you say, well, I haven't turned my social security on because I really don't need it and I'm still working. Well, for goodness sakes, turn it on at 70. There's so many things that are there. And the biggest question on Social Security is, is is getting the right amount at the right time for you. Everybody talks about Mm -hmm. maximization. Well, if you wait till you're 70, you're going to maximize it. But the bigger question is optimizing it it for you and turning it on at the right time. And And a bigger question than that even is how does Social Security fit? Do I have other assets to draw some while I let it grow higher? Or, you know, how does it fit with the rest of your retirement assets? That's a big question. All of them are big questions when it comes to Social Security. Will it last? Will they decrease it? by 21% like they're saying. You know, if you're out there and you're wondering that and you're worried about that, quit worrying about that. Start answering the question, if they do decrease it, what am I going to do about it? Mm -hmm. How am I going to make up that difference? That's what you do when you get financial planning and you get help and input in putting all of these pieces together. Yeah. And Social Security is such an important piece of someone's overall retirement income plan. And I know that's the, that's why that's the foundation of the retirement blueprint that you build for folks. I call it the the edge pieces of the puzzle. My wife and I love to put together puzzles, okay? And the edge pieces of the puzzle, that's where most everybody starts because you can know those smooth edges and you figure out where those colors go together. And then you, you get that outline of Social Security fixed in the right place. And then you can start filling out the other things in the middle. Absolutely. Well, moving on to the next mistake, taking on unnecessary debt. How is unnecessary debt defined in context of this conversation? Well, unnecessary debt would be like 
big ticket items that you buy you you want one lady one time had very limited resources and she wanted to reward herself was her words with a brand new mercedes out of her ira that would cost eighty thousand dollars and by the time she went ahead and did it she's not working with us because she did not take our advice we were just telling her look you're going to run out she was 62 years old mm -hmm. and and she wanted to go out and buy a new mercedes as a reward for for graduating into retirement was her words well, guess what? This lady's going to run out of money in about five years because she's not willing to listen to anybody say, maybe you don't need the Mercedes. Maybe you need to eat when you're in your 80s. OK, mm -hmm. so that might rhyme. What would it be? Trade your Mercedes for eating in the 80s. OK, okay. <laughs> right. So maybe I just coin something, but you got to make wise decisions. Mm -hmm. I mean, be careful refining your house on a 30 year note when you're just about to quit your income job and you, you're 67 years old. I mean, back up and look at this. You're smarter than that. You're better than that. Beware of large credit card debts that you're running up or refining debt. Be careful. And along with that, another common mistake is folks are taking on too much risk as they approach retirement. Some people, let's go back to the football illustration. I'm sorry. That's who I am. Okay. I love when it. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> when, you're, when you're ahead by 19 points in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl, ask the Atlanta Falcons. You don't need to keep throwing the ball and getting it intercepted, fumbling the ball, taking too much risk making mistakes. You don't need to make mistakes. You've got the game won. Many of you are sitting out there worried about retirement and you just need somebody who's a professional to look at it and say, put to get that together in a plan and say, you can do this. Let me show you how you can do it. You just, and why do we tell people a lot of times, Kristen, you're out there and you're wondering what kind of risk you're taking. There's two kinds of risk. There's the risk you have internally which normally as you get older goes down, 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 and you can score at zero to 100. And then there's the risk that your portfolio is taking. Yeah. What kind of risk are you taking? I've seen people that have come in to, to get a retirement blueprint and they're sitting there and they do the risk analysis and they come in with a risk score of 28. And when I did the analysis on their portfolio, their broker who's there to help you accumulate money. The best way to accumulate money over the long haul is to put it out there at risk because it's going to go up and it's going to go down. But overall, the market's always been good to us given time. Their portfolio was at an 88 risk and they were at a 28 risk. Mm -hmm. So there's so many things that fit like this. What you need, if you're listening to this, is a plan. You need a written plan that evaluates your social security. Where's your income coming from? What's inflation gonna do with it? What is the risk score on your investments? And does that match up with my risk tolerance? What are taxes gonna do to it? So there's mm -hmm. so many things. If you're in the last few years before retirement, you need a plan. We've got one for you, but you've got to help us put it together by coming in and meet with us. We call it a retirement blueprint. And to claim yours, again, this is for no cost, no charge, no obligation. It's offered completely complimentary to you, our radio listeners. All you need to do is call 888-930-5609 to claim your very own personalized, customized retirement blueprint from Tom and the team of Mosley Wealth Management. Don't go anywhere. we got a lot more to cover on today's show. When we come back, we're going to be looking at some potential strategies you can use to save taxes in retirement. Stay with us. Get your own no cost complimentary retirement plan review. 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. How do you know if you're retirement ready? That's a question many people ask themselves as they approach their golden years. We believe the answer can be complex and depends on many factors, such as your savings, monthly expenses, and lifestyle goals. At Mosley Wealth Management, we can help you determine if you're retirement ready. We'll work with you to assess your financial situation, identify any potential income gaps, and develop a customized plan that aligns with your goals. Don't leave your retirement to chance. Call us today to learn how we can help you work towards achieving financial security and peace of mind in retirement. Call Tom Mosley and the team at Mosley Wealth Management for your complimentary retirement blueprint. Call 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. 
Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. And in that first segment, Tom, you know, I, I think of how you started off today's show and you talk about how we want to touch everybody, no matter who's listening, everyone's on a different journey. Everybody's on a different road headed into retirement. That last segment talking about some of the common mistakes folks can make when they're nearing retirement. You know, I think some folks could listen to that and think, well, gosh, I'm behind the eight ball. Maybe I haven't saved enough. This is what I need to be doing to kind of make up for that lost time. But you also work with a ton of people who have done really well for themselves. A lot of you listening have been great savers. And so in this next part of the show, Let's say that you have $2 million saved up in an IRA. Well, what are some potential ways that you can save taxes in retirement on that money that you've accumulated? So I'm excited to get into these with you. Let me tell you the story of how I got got in the business. And some of you, if you listen every week, you've heard this. But if you haven't, if you don't listen every week, you need to know where I got to where I am as a financial planner. When I first got into financial planning, June the 8th of 1995. Yes, you're right. Just next month, I'm coming up on my 29th anniversary of being in this business. My two managers, the investment manager and the insurance manager at the office I was working out of through a division of MetLife that used to be called the New England, they asked me, they said, who do you want to work with? Mm -hmm. And they were talking about, you know, doctors, lawyers, engineers, and out of my mouth, not knowing what they were expecting me to answer, I had been in the ministry for 19 years and many times in charge of benevolence, and I had to help people decide and help them buy food or medicine because they couldn't afford both. Mm -hmm. And so I told them, I want to work with retirees. You you would have thought I said something offensive or profane or something the way they looked at me like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, because the leading edge of baby boomers were just turning 50 in 1995. Well, fast forward now, everybody and their brother who's in my industry thinks they're a retirement planner, but they're not because it's really important. But I got started 29 years ago helping people make sure that they don't run out of money the rest of their life. And then along came two or three years later, I realized that the thing that was taking the most of the money out of your pockets out there in retirement was was not that you were spending too much, but that that our government, Uncle Sam, was taking too much out in taxes. Mm -hmm. So then we tacked on to our financial planning that we did a real emphasis. And and our focus right now is working with pleasant people to make sure they never run out of income. That's that's the, the, the lower part of the scale as far as economic scale to make sure they pay as little as they're legally required to pay in taxes. And this person, if you're out there that's got one and a half, two million dollars, in an IRA, a 401k, a 403b, a 457, any kind of deferred compensation, if that's at $2 million, you've got some tax issues Mm -hmm. because you're going to have, you don't have that much money because you're going to have, you're going to have to pay tax on all of it. So what you've got to do, like you asked, Kristen, the strategies, well, the, the most popular thing right now is a Roth conversion. Mm -hmm. And you say, why is that popular right now? The SECURE Act that left us a lot more insecure five years ago basically took those IRAs and those 401ks, and they did a lot of changes to those and the way they get taxed. The the biggest one is leaving it to your heirs. You leave it to your heirs, and now instead of them taking it out a little by little over their entire lifetime, they now have to take anything that you you leave to them out over a 10 year period. Mm-hmm. So so a lot of people are saying, what can I do about it? Well, you can prepay the tax. In other words, pay the tax now. If you're out there and you think that taxes are going to be higher in the future than they are right now, which if you don't think that, we need to have you in and maybe get you in with a doctor and do some analysis and things because of the debt that we have and the way we're spending money. But if taxes are going to be higher on the future, you'd be better off to pay them now. So a lot of people are running and we're doing a lot of Roth conversions when we present it to them and our clients. And we, if you become our client, then we work with you on the possibility of Roth conversions. What does that mean? Taking those IRAs and 401ks and paying the tax now when we know taxes are going to be lower than they are in 2026 and moving those into a Roth 
IRA where you never pay tax again. Let me give you two words. IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, as long as there's money in there forever, mm -hmm. you're going to pay tax. Yeah. The Roth, the Roth IRA, never pay tax. It's a big difference. But yes, you pay the tax as you get it over there. Biggest question I have from you out there, and I hear it coming through the radio waves. You're saying, I wish I'd started a Roth IRA, but I'm too old. Nobody's too old to start a Roth IRA. We just last week started one for an 82-year-old person. Mm. So you can start a Roth IRA, but you can't contribute to a Roth. Contribute is the word, unless you've got earned income. And if you're over 50, you can do $8,000 this year. Mm -hmm. But you can convert any IRA, 401k, as much as you're willing to pay the tax on. It raises your income this year. Pay the tax at the levels that are lower than they're going to be in 2026 going forward. And you never pay tax on that again once it gets into the Roth. That's called a Roth conversion. Sound confusing? It can be. It can drive up your Medicare if you don't do it the right way. We call it harvesting. We harvest that tax out over a period of years, usually from the time you stop working until 73 or 75, whenever it is that you have to begin to take required minimum distributions because required minimum distributions cannot go into a Roth. So we keep you straight on that. Yeah. We guide you with that. We give you forward thinking on taxes if you're working with us and your plans are with us. And another common misconception, I know I've heard this and you have too, Tom. Some people think, well, I can't do this because I make too much, right? Because there are income limits to your point of contributing to a Roth IRA. But that doesn't mean that someone can't convert to a Roth IRA, right? You, you can convert to a Roth IRA, as I said in the previous segment, any amount you're willing to stomach the taxes. And I do say stomach. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't, because, you know, just paying taxes makes us all sick. But it's as much as you can stomach. And we, we use a software that makes sure we stay in line with your tax brackets, and that has to do with your income. Mm -hmm. It stays in line with your Medicare if you're already on Medicare to make sure you don't bump up your Part B and Part D. It stays in line with any capital gains that you've that you've gone through. So there are a lot of things that you can do. You got that $2 million IRA or qualified money, and you say, well, I don't. Well, what about if you're married? What about you and your spouse? Because you're treated as one on your income tax. So what about that? Do you have $2 million? You really need to think about paying a little more tax now. I hear the radios clicking off. <laughs> more tax now so that in the long run, you pay a lot less tax overall. Big right. thing. Well, and this Big. is why a huge part of building that retirement blueprint, I know you go over Roth conversions with folks, and if it's in their best interest to do that, you present those recommendations. But overarchingly too, it's creating the right strategic withdrawal plan for their income. Because a lot of folks enter retirement with different types of accounts that have different types of taxable, you know, income, some are tax deferred, some are taxable, some are tax free. It's figuring out how much to pull from which account when, right? <laughs> Right. Very often. In fact, this week I had a couple come in. They said, we need $40,000 to come out of our IRA mm -hmm. because, because we want to take a, like a three week safari to Africa and then a boat cruise and, and, you know, everything that they've dreamed of their bucket list. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's their money. How do we get it to them? Well, this couple had an after tax account. And if they use that money out of there, they would pay only tax on the growth that was in there. If they took it out of their IRAs, they would pay full income tax on that. Mm -hmm. If they had a Roth, and I don't really advocate taking money out of the Roth once you get it into the Roth, because that's where you want it to ultimately end up. But from a tax perspective for each year, you, it might be better in your planning to take it out of each one of those buckets or the different buckets. So that's where your tax brackets make a difference. What's it going to do to your Medicare before you go take a chunk out? You better see what it's going to ripple effect do to you in other areas. Mm -hmm. That's what a financial advisor can do to help you on being strategic with where you withdraw the money from. Right. And not only could it increase your Medicare premiums, but it could also impact how your Social Security is taxed. 
Exactly. I mean, you know, news alert, your social security will be taxed. You could be taxed on 85% of your social could get taxed at your income bracket. Particularly if you're if you're if you've got two million dollars in an IRA, unless you're just not drawing anything for a year or two, you're probably in a bracket where your social is going to get taxed anyway at full value. But if you're in a lower bracket and you've got that IRA and you're just listening to the next segment when I get off the $2 million people. Okay. When you're in a lower bracket, you got to be careful about pushing your social to where it can be taxed. Yeah. And there's some other things. If you've got $2 million and you're charitable, you may want to do what's called a QCD. If you're over 70 and a half, where you can actually give your charity in an advantage to them, an advantage to you and a disadvantage to the government. I see, you know, you could actually give your charity money through what's called a QCD. And then there's tax loss harvesting. If you've got something that's really gone up in value, it's got capital gains. And the way you take that out could make a big difference in your tax. Now we're not CPAs, let's be clear, but I'll guarantee you, we save people more money on taxes than anyone would ever imagine. And there are a lot of brokers at the big box firms out there, they don't want to do tax harvesting. They don't want to do Roth conversions because it's not to their advantage. It's to your advantage, but not to their advantage. Hey, give us a call. We can help you. To figure out what some tax saving strategies might be in your best interest, we encourage you to pick up the phone and call 888-930-5609 and schedule a time to come in and receive your complimentary retirement blueprint from the team of Mosley Wealth Management. Stay with us. We will be back here at Right on the Money with Tom Mosley right after this. More Right on the Money with Tom Mosley right after this. Get your own no-cost retirement plan review at 888-930-5609. Are you worried about taxes eating into your retirement savings? By engaging in savvy tax planning, you might be able to create greater tax efficiency in your retirement plan. At Mosley Wealth Management, our team of retirement planning specialists can help you explore tax deferred and tax free investment options, as well as strategies to help potentially minimize your tax burden in retirement. Don't let taxes derail your retirement plans. Let us help you create a tax efficient financial plan and work towards maximizing your savings and minimizing your taxes. Call Tom Mosley of Right on the Money and Mosley Wealth Management today to learn more about our tax planning solutions. Call 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Social security is easy, right? The question is, should I take it now or later? Well, there are dozens and dozens of ways to take social security if you're single and even more if you're married. This one-time decision can also affect how much you pay in taxes, how much you receive in lifetime payouts for you and possibly your spouse. You could increase your nest egg by tens of thousands of dollars just by being informed. And unfortunately, the social security office is not allowed to give you comprehensive financial planning advice. You've paid into Social Security for decades. Don't you want to make sure you optimize your retirement income? Build your Social Security benefits into a retirement income plan with all of your assets. Get your own tailored, no cost Social Security income strategy with Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management. 888 930 5609. That's 888 930 5609. Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. He is the founder and president of Mosley Wealth Management, and I'm your host, Kristen Oakley. Well, Tom, I know you mentioned earlier in the show you had done a social security workshop just this week. I know you've got workshops happening all throughout Southern California, so I'm excited for you to share how more folks can connect with you in person with you and the team in the coming weeks. Hey, listen, we love to have workshops and we do a lot, like we said in the first segment of social security workshops, where it's 40% of the average American's income. So we really major on that. We also have a retirement master class at times and in seasons, we do a tax class. We're putting together an income class. So we're always teaching. And again, to check out a list of the complete events coming up in your area, we invite you to visit the website. Simply go to mosleywealthmanagement.com. That's M-O-S-L-E-Y wealthmanagement.com. Well, Tom, you and I, not only do we get to do this radio show together, but we love doing the television show together as well. And we did a, a TV episode 
dedicated solely to the topic of annuities a few weeks back, and you got so many phone calls from that one show. I think it really speaks to the fact that there is a lot of confusion out there regarding annuities. There's a lot of misconceptions. And on that show, we really went through it. We went through the good, the bad, and the ugly. We helped folks understand that not all annuities are created equal. There's some different kinds. And there's only really one kind in particular that you are a fan of, which is the fixed indexed annuity. And so what we thought we would do on this part of the show is really dive more deeply into the advantages of owning a principal protected fixed indexed annuity. So talk a little bit about, you know, the inspiration for really focusing in on this during this segment. Well, so many people like to, in my profession, like to sell the variable annuities, particularly the brokers, you know, because it's what I don't like about it in retirement is you're paying an expensive fee for the box that it's held in, if you can imagine this. And then the individual investments within that product also have their expensive fees. We just a month ago did an analysis on a lady who had one of the big firms that if I mentioned them, every single one of you would know that firm. We did an analysis on that annuity that came from that big insurance company, a variable annuity, and the fees were 5.15% per year. Mm. So, you know, the brokers love those because they're and and they're they're told in the prospectus what the fees are. But man, you really have to know the product you're getting in. That's why I like the fixed indexed annuity and some of the principles and some of the some of the advantages that are in those mm. we're gonna talk about. First one is principal protection. Yeah. Okay. When we talk about fixed, that means you're not going to lose money. The market goes up, the market goes down. Blessed be the name of the market. But when the market goes up, you get part of the gain. We'll talk about that in a minute. But when the market goes down, you don't suffer any loss. Mm -hmm. It's got a guaranteed floor. And then each year, as the market gains and say you get 5%, 6% gain, if that's what you got that year, it locks in to a new floor at that point. Here's what I mean. You put $100,000 into a fixed indexed annuity. Let's say it grows 5% that first year and you're at 105. Well, your lowest floor then will be $105,000. The, the principal is protected. You're not going to lose what you put into that fixed indexed annuity. And yet there's also a potential for growth. So talk about how that separates it also from the variable annuities. That's the other half. As the market goes up, you get you get the opportunity to grow. Now, it's usually tied to some market index like the S&P 500. There's some Barclays indexes that are put out by the Barclays Investment Company. There are some uh, Morgan Stanley indexes that are doing really well. Well, you tie yourself to that index and 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 say your contract and the contracts are as different as night and day or as different as the different cars that are out there, you know, they're just varied. So let me just give you some examples. Like say you get into one that you get 60% of what the S and P 500 does. If the S and P 500 goes up 10 points in a year or 10%, you get 6% and it locks in at that next level on your anniversary date. So not only is the original money that you put into it, protected. That was point number one. But number two, you have potential for growth as it's tied to the market. And whatever index, as it grows, you grow. You just don't get it all. So well, I don't get it all. No, you don't. But you don't get any of the loss when there's a 20 or a 30 or a 50 percent downturn. And that brings us to a third huge advantage that that growth is all tax deferred. There is no tax on the money in an annuity until you start taking it out. And that's taking it out as a paycheck to you to spend, not if you move it from one to another. Because there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people right now who are in older model annuities. Hey, listen out there. There are a lot of you who have an annuity and you're not happy with how it's performing. Red alert, you need to give us a call because the new models are unbelievable, particularly with the interest rates, what they are right now, with inflation, what it is right now. There is competition for your money. You could be doing a lot better off by trading up that old annuity right now, but you need to get an evaluation. 
And to get that evaluation as part of your complimentary retirement blueprint, again, that number to call is 888-930-5609. Tom, talk about some of the lifetime income options that fixed index annuities can also provide. Annual annuity, same kind of word, pays out on a regular basis for as long as you live. There are lifetime income options. And some of you have all of your money in, if you're married, you have all of your money in one of the partners 401k or IRA. Well, you can actually put that into a fixed indexed annuity and it can be like a, a payout guaranteed for as long as either one of you are alive, not just the one who owns the IRA. But that's the key thing that nobody gives credit. If you're out there and you've got a negative idea about annuities, think about this. Your 401k or your IRA, if you run out of money when you're 82 years old, you don't have any more money. Mm -hmm. In a fixed indexed annuity, when you get that account down to zero of your money at about 82, 83 years of age, if you put it in when you're in your 60s, guess what? You continue to get that annual or monthly payment, ever how you decide to get it, every single month for the rest of your life, even after you've run out of money, lifetime income. A lot of flexibility into how you can invest in there as well. It's a really, really neat thing. And then the death benefit, that's another thing that's really attractive to a lot of folks. I call them bells and whistles. There are some bells and whistles now that'll give you an enhanced death benefit that, you know, you put X amount of dollars in, they may give you a 20% bonus. And so you may put 100,000 in and your death benefit on that policy goes to 120. Remember, it's an insurance product and they deal with life insurance and living too long insurance or annuities. So you can do that. There's some bells and whistles on some of them now that if you're getting say $20,000 a year out of that annuity, they have a an ADL, it's like long-term care in case you need uh, home health care or you go into a nursing home, it will kick up and pay you double for five years. So if you're getting a $20,000 payout, It'll give you a $40,000 payout for five years. There's some things you really need to check out if you haven't checked them out recently. And there's no contribution limits, unlike if you're contributing to IRAs and 401ks. So that's another huge benefit that's attractive to a lot of folks. Kristen, you brought up something that I didn't address to all of you out there earlier when you said, Kristen, you know, sometimes you make too much money to go into a Roth or, or to have an IRA or to do yeah, yeah, yeah. There's limits on a lot of other things. There's not any limit as to what money you can put into a fixed indexed annuity. If you have 100,000, you can put that in there. I usually suggest about 20 to 25 to maybe 30 at the max percent of your assets going into an annuity. I really do believe in a diversified portfolio. That's what we put together for you when you call in and you get a retirement blueprint put together. You you work with us to put yours together. And you got to call it in. I've got six all-star fiduciary advisors that can meet with you with offices. We've got all over Southern California. But is an annuity right for you? I don't know. It's not for everybody we work with. You've got to call in and say, I, I want to get together with you guys and help you let you help me put together my blueprint. Call in. And if you have an existing annuity contract, the team of Mosley Wealth Management would love to be able to review it with you to make sure that what you have is in fact in your best interest. This is a great time to be reviewing those things, especially with the interest rate environment that we're in. So again, that number to call is 888-930-5609. And you can schedule your complimentary time to come in and meet with the team of Mosley Wealth Management to receive your complimentary retirement blueprint. When we come back, we're going to be answering some recent listener questions. Don't go anywhere. We'll have those for you right after this. For your own no-cost retirement blueprint, call Tom Mosley of Mosley Wealth Management, 888-930-5609. Do you know how you'll generate income from your investments along with your social security in retirement? In our opinion, it's never too early to start the income planning process for your future. An income plan can help you work towards creating a steady stream of income to support you throughout your retirement years. Don't leave your financial future to chance. Take control today and start income planning for your retirement. Call the team at Mosley Wealth Management so we can help you design a complimentary written income plan to help you live the retirement you've always wanted. Call 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. 
Welcome back to Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. I'm your host, Kristen Oakley, and it's that time of the week where we get to answer our recent listener questions. Now, all of these questions have come in recently from our listeners who've either emailed their question in or from folks who've been scheduling their complimentary retirement blueprint sessions with the team of Mosley Wealth Management. And these are questions that have actually been asked in your various offices throughout Southern California. If you have a question that you'd like us to answer, don't worry, we do change names to protect your privacy, but we invite you to email your question in and you can do so at info at mosleywealthmanagement.com. Again, that's info at M-O-S-L-E-Y wealthmanagement.com. Our first question this week comes from Chuck in Yorba Linda. Chuck said, I am 67 years old and retired. I recently inherited half a million dollars from my parents. I'm not interested in investing in the stock market. What are some other options where I could invest that half a million dollars? You know, Chuck, you're not unusual to be 67 and and not wanting to just throw your money into the stock market and take the risk that you maybe did when you were 37 or 47. Got it. Understand it. And you're not interested in taking this money and making great gains because, you know, you've got to throw it into the stock market or something with a high degree of risk to make great gains. But what are some of your options? Well, the good news is the prevailing winds for you right now are pretty good because you have options. You can go to your bank. There are some banks right now, my bank, in a specialized money market. You need to check it out. Call around bank to banks because there are some that on these specialized money markets, maybe there's a $20,000 minimum, which wouldn't be your issue with $500,000. They're paying four and a half percent you know, on an annual basis on what people are putting into those money markets because the interest rates are high and you're loaning money to the bank so they can loan it and make money. So they're willing to pay more money right now because they're getting more money when they turn around and loan your money. So if you don't want to be an owner, and buy the stock market, be a loaner and loan your money to the bank, but take advantage of it. I've I've got a lot of you who are coming in right now. And one of the big ways we're helping you is just in a review. We look at every single account you've got. And I've asked some of you who've come in recently, you know, what's this money earning in your savings at the bank? And it's still earning like 0.25 because they've got that little savings account that's tied to your checking account, it's paying nothing still. Mm -hmm. But there are specialized money markets that they'll, they'll be glad to put you into that. Now, the negative about that is that's going to fluctuate up and down as the interest rates might start going back down. So what else could you do, Chuck? You could go into a five-year CD. They're paying better than they've paid in a long, long time. You could also go into one other kind of annuity that we use some kind in, and I call it a CD on steroids because a fixed annuity, not a fixed indexed annuity, can sometimes pay you about one to one and a half percent more than even you can get on a CD in the bank. So there's there's options for you right now. And and you know, I'm I'm giving you advice that you know I don't I don't run a bank, so I can't do the money market, but it's to your benefit to look for something like this. And if you did want to lock it into a fixed indexed annuity. You say, I might need that money in the future. And you want to put that in a fixed indexed annuity. Some of those are paying so well right now, principal protected, tied to the market growth, but none of the market loss, locked in growth at the end of every anniversary period. So there's a lot of options. You just need to, you need to sit down. Don't go to a banker and don't go to just a normal financial planner that's not going to mention these other options where they're not making money off of it. Mm -hmm. Go to somebody like we are, who's a real fiduciary, who's going to give you advice in your best interest and tell you all the things that might be available. Here's one question you need to ask yourself though, Chuck, even if you never see us, when do I need this money? Mm -hmm. Or when do I want this money? Because you don't want to lock it into a fixed indexed annuity if you need it in six months. Right. You don't want to lock it into a CD if you need it in a year. So when do you need the money is another question that needs to be solved. For sure. And you know, Tom, another thing that stood out to me in this question that that Chuck said was he's not interested in investing in the stock market. And my question would be, why is that? If it's just because he doesn't want the potential to lose, then maybe that fixed indexed annuity option is an appropriate 
choice because there would be that principal protection. So again, so many factors go into this to determine what the right answer would be for someone. And, and we can't really give that personalized advice without looking at all the pieces of the puzzle. And you know what, Chuck, be careful for this. If you're out there and you're in the same situation, you say, I'm like Chuck, it wasn't 500, it was 300, it was 700,000. Here, be careful that you go to somebody who's not going to tell you what to do. Mm. Go to somebody who's going to explain your options so you can understand them. And then you make the decision because in the, in the final analysis, we can make recommendations and give you your options, but you need to work with somebody who's mature enough in this business that they're not, they're not having to get your $500,000 Chuck to put food on the table. They want to do what's in your best interest and give you your options and understand them, explain them to you so you can understand them. And I just want to point this out, Tom, because this happened to me this week. I heard a story of a woman who had gone to a big corporate firm. She had recently received an inheritance from her mother. This individual didn't talk to her about the tax consequences of her inheritance. So guess what? She went to file her taxes, found out she owed $77,000 because of the inheritance not being handled in a way that was tax efficient either. So lots of things you got to look out for. And a lot of times, you know, the sad thing, Kristen, by the time they get to us and they've got that money sitting in the bank, it's too late because mm -hmm. they've already made a decision. So if you're about to inherit money, you need to call in and get on our schedule because we can we can just give you the warning signs that's what's coming down the road. I love my little Google Maps that lead me places mm -hmm. because if I'm on the freeway going 70 miles an hour and it says hazard ahead in three fourths of a mile. You know what happens? I can tell everybody who's got that Google map on because I see the brakes start getting to be hit. We're not going, and I said 70, I should have said 80 miles an hour, you know? <laughs> We're not still flying down the road with a hazard right in the middle of the road. There's a warning sign. That's what you need in a financial advisor to give you warning signs so you don't go off a cliff. Absolutely, the rerouting can happen before the disaster. So it's never too early to call in to get your retirement blueprint. Again, that number to call is 888-930-5600. Chuck, thank you so much for your question this week. Next up, we have Robert in Westlake Village. He said, given my current health condition, I could likely need long-term care in my future years. I've tried to get coverage and I've been denied. Plus, the monthly premiums were so high, I'm not sure I could afford it. What are some other ways that I could cover the cost of home health care or nursing home expenses? Such a great question. I wish I could do that you know, the old tapes when you would rewind them and they would make that squeaking sound of rewind. Mm -hmm. And you could, I could turn this on to what we talked about in the last segment, Robert, you need to go back and you need to look at some of the bells and whistles that they're offering. A lot of people are coming in and they're not, they don't need income. They've got enough income, but they realize that if they did need either long-term care in a nursing home, or if they, if they, if they needed home health care, they might not be able to pay for it. One of my clients just called us this week and and uh, and she's taking care of her mother and her mother is just going to get home health care and it's going to cost sixty two hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. And we're we're putting together her plan from her assets to cover that for her mother. But there are some of those fixed indexed annuities now who have bells and whistles that if you can't do two of the activities of daily living, they'll double what the payout would be. It's not long-term care insurance. Everybody hear that? All the regulators hear that out there. But it does give you the option to stay at home for home health care if you go into a nursing home. The, the qualifier is if you can't do two of the six or seven activities of daily living, however, ever how many are on your list, it'll double the payout. You're getting 20000 a year from that annuity. It'll go to forty for a five-year period. That's a bell and whistle. That's an option. That's a perk you need to check out. For sure. And I'm glad that you are able to help folks figure out some other alternatives because I think that's a common concern. Long-term care insurance is very expensive, and there's been a lot of changes in that specific marketplace in the, the last few years. Well, what happens to Robert, Kristen, all of you out there, what happens if you do get a long-term care policy? Mm 
Those things are, like you said, Robert, expensive, $400 a month, $500. I saw one recently that was only $315 a month. But that's money that you're giving to the insurance company, and you may never need it. Mm -hmm. Just like the, the coverage on your house, you know, you get the fire insurance, but your your house is never burned down. Right. But but you you might need it, so you pay it. So it's money you're spending. If you put that in a fixed indexed annuity, it's still your money. You still control it. You can use it for income. You can take it out and spend it. And and or you can use it for long-term care. Or it might have a death benefit or other advantages. So so get something that's gonna address more than one issue. And that's what's it out there if you're looking at the whole spectrum. Goodness gracious, Kristen, it's it's time to wrap up. I know it goes by so quickly. <laughs> you know. Let's talk about what we talked about. We talked about if, if you're a little behind the eight ball and you really need to sprint to the finish line in the last five years, we gave you some, some ways to do that, okay? If you've got $2 million, you, taxes is probably going to be your biggest issue if that's in an IRA or a 401k. You've been blessed. But now don't turn around and just bless the government because you don't take that out the right way. And then we talk specifically about a product of fixed indexed annuities and how they're not the same ones that they even had even five or six years ago. You need to have yours reevaluated and just have it looked at, even if that's all you want us to do. And we've tried to answer these questions. Look, it's what we do. We help you build your plan. It's called a retirement blueprint. Call in, get on our calendars, and come in and see us. We'll help you in any way we can. And again, this costs you nothing. So we encourage you. There's never been a better time for you to start this process of building your own complimentary retirement blueprint. That number to call to claim yours is 888-930-5609. And you'll be able to schedule a time to come in and meet with one of the all-star advisors of Mosley Wealth Management at one of their many office locations throughout Southern California. And they look forward to helping and serving you. Hey, thanks so much for joining us this weekend. We appreciate you being here. Be safe, be happy be blessed. And we look forward to being back with you next week here at Right on the Money with Tom Mosley. Tom Mosley and the team have helped thousands of folks like you in Southern California plan for their retirement. Now make the call yourself. 888-930-5609. That's 888-930-5609. Investment advisory services offered by duly registered individuals through Mosley Wealth Management Incorporated. Mosley Wealth Management and Mosley Insurance and Financial Services are affiliated companies by common ownership license number OB61811. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refers to fixed insurance products, never securities or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength claims paying ability of the issuing carrier. This content is tended for informational and educational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the needs of an individual situation. All hypothetical examples are provided for illustrative purposes only. They do not represent real-life scenarios. Mosley Insurance and Financial Services, nor its agents or representatives, may give tax or legal advice. Individuals should consult with a qualified professional for guidance before making any investment decisions. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. Some of the information provided may be from one or more third parties, which we believe to be reliable sources, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Mosley Insurance and Financial Services.